Hello everyone, my name is Zeeshan Baik and in this video we will see how to configure Oracle Forms Release 2 for development environment. So the first step uh, is to install the WebLogic server and I have installed uh, in my WebLogic server in the middleware PS4 directory then I install Oracle Forms uh, in the same middleware home and these videos you can find uh, on the same blog after that we have to configure that forms uh, for the development environment so for that we will go to the Oracle home of forms and there is a bin directory in that bin directory we have config.bat batch file in windows environment and config.shell in Linux environment. So you have to wait for a bit, then the configuration wizard will appear. Sure. All right, so we have the configuration wizard here. I'll press next. Uh, it's asking for you want to configure for deployment or development. We'll go for development. The difference between two is written here. It will not install the Oracle HTTP server and Enterprise Manager agents. We don't need any security, of course. It's now asking for the WebLogic server location and Oracle instance. Uh, we'll go with the default and uh, it's detected automatically the correct middleware. Your WebLogic server must be 10.3.5 and uh, next is asking to create a domain and uh, to use Oracle Forms Release 2 you must create a new domain with that uh, 11.2 release so I'll give a password for my domain admin I'll give it a name like my forms domain and this is the directory of the domain so this is the development environment and uh, I'll go with the forms builder and reports builder auto config port configuration no proxy and there you go Now you can see that all steps are successful and the forms are ready to uh, use and you can see that uh, domain uh, port number and all other information here. Um, what we can do here is to save these. Forms finish. Next step is to verify the installation. Now it's time to verify the installation uh, of forms. For that, we'll go to the our server we saw that it's installed on the 7001 and I'll give my domain uh, credentials and you can see that uh, my forms domain under servers I have admin server up and running to test the form installation I'll run the form ser servlet it will ask you to install the Java plugin and yes when we install and configure by default uh, under the user projects domain you will see my forms domain directory and that you have 
your servers and start admin server uh, configured here program files you can go through start the admin server or uh, OHS and other components and access developer tools using these so hopefully you like this video feel free to comment on it thanks for watching goodbye